Good morning, America, live from Bedford Park here in northern New England, coastal southern Maine, Portland, Maine. This is Frank Margell. Today is September 19th, 2016. It's about 11 a.m. in the morning. Look, before we get started, there's uh, Old Glory uh, stationed up there uh, on the University of Southern Maine campus. Go ahead and take a minute with me and let's pledge allegiance to the flag. All right, you ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. God bless the University of Southern Maine. God bless Maine, Portland, Maine, and your community and whatever community you may thrive in across the United States of America. It is nice to be out and about with you today. I am uh, sporting an umbrella and it's drizzly out here in uh, humid conditions at 11 a.m. at the Bedford Park in one of the busiest intersections here in all of Portland, Maine. That's right. Uh, we have uh, Brighton Avenue, Forest Ave uh, pardon me, uh, Deering Avenue, and Route 25, uh, there's five corners over there, and it gets very busy. Nonetheless, this is a freelance video, and you will find it at frankmargell at youtube.com. I post on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'm not affiliated with any business or enterprise that you may see in the video today. I'm out here in the public domain at the Bedford Park. And this is also a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. And what you hear are my opinions and comments. And I'm going to uh, give you a little political commentary. Uh, so bear with me. <laughs> and we'll take a look around here. I want to show you uh, from the Bedford Park uh, perspective here, or aspect, the University of Maine S School of Law. And uh, we're going to adjust the cam. I'm using a cam again today. And we'll go down a little bit here. And you'll see across the intersection over there, uh, the Fezzedden Flower Power Park. And that's what I call it. Well, let's get right into some political commentary here today on this Monday, Monday. Uh, in, a, in the last week, I've been posting videos regarding the... 2016 November 8th main ballot yes the election and in uh, a recent video uh, I was discussing with you all question one which was regarding marijuana and I want to move on to question two as it appears on the main ballot and you can find these videos at frankmargell at youtube.com and post uh, an upbeat comment or uh, send me a fact or a figure whether you agree with me or disagree with me try to keep it upbeat and try to keep it clean thank you I do read your comments and I do respond from them from time to time well let's get started uh, here uh, with the uh, question two that will appear on the main ballot go ahead once again check your facts I got my information off main.gov and uh, you can um, go to maine.gov and search under upcoming elections. So here is question two, and I'm going to quote it. Here we go. Question two. Do you want to add a 3% tax on individual Maine taxable income above 200000 to create state fund that would direct support for student learning in kindergarten through 12th grade public education. <laughs> oh, I do, did my best, but let me read it to you once again so I can uh, state it as clearly as possible. Quote, once again, do you want to add a 3% tax on individual main taxable income above 200,000 to create a state fund that would direct support for student learning in kindergarten through 12th grade public education end quote well there is the question question two on the main ballot november 8th 2016. well what i'd like to do is uh, bring the cam down a little bit and 
show you some moving traffic and do a little political commentary regarding this question. I'm not going to tell you how to vote and uh, I imagine that you'll do your own research or perhaps you'll just walk into the polling uh, booth or you'll take a look at this uh, ballot question and make up your own mind. Whether you do a little bit of research or a lot of research, this particular question gives me great pause and great concern. And I am not exactly sure what part of this question makes more sense than the other. However, I'm inclined to look further into this as I have been and make up my mind sooner than later. So I still plan on voting early. Uh, I'm an early voter and I will be voting absentee. But uh, I do have some reservations. So I'm not sure how uh, to proceed on this today. And I'm gonna do a little more uh, research into this. But I, I believe in the absence of common sense, there can be no genuine prosperity. And so what do I mean by that? Well, when I look at this question, I see uh, a contradiction in terms. First, there is a class of people that are going to be required to pay 3% more than another class of people. Now, we're talking public education and it should be the burden of all citizens to support public education. However, this ballot question doesn't necessarily point uh, in that direction as far as I can read into it. And I'm gonna do some more research, but just going on the basic question itself, uh, it says, do you want to add a 3% tax on individual main taxable income above 200,000? I, I, I don't really care for that wording. That doesn't make a lot of sense. And what about all the other gimmicks and wording and legislation and property taxes that have already gone into funding Maine's education. I will give you this hint. If you want to look into this a little bit more, there is a summary that refers to Maine offering to support education at 55%. Uh, I think that uh, the burden uh, on all Mainers regarding public education from kindergarten through 12th grade it is a burden that we should all share together. So I'm inclined to think once again at, by looking at this, and I will do some more research, that this is another money grab. And that the money that uh, is uh, going to go into a particular fund, the fund is called Fund to Advance public kindergarten to grade 12 education sounds like a slush fund. And you know how uh, career politicians often work, you know, whether they're failed leaders pretending to be wise or wise leaders pretending never to fail. You know, we have lottery ticket sales, we have property tax sales, we have income taxes, we have federal matching funds, and yet, this ballot question seems to add more to top and top heavy tax burdens than it does to free up what is apparent to all of us who believe in common sense, and that is, is intellect and smarts is something that comes from God and is not delivered by way of this initiative or this law. That's right. This, this wording, this question lacks integrity. And that's why I'm pausing uh, and reflecting upon uh, those who uh, oppose this, those who will not vote for it, and those who will vote for it. This question is fishy and that's my humble opinion.
and it doesn't make a lot of sense. It certainly doesn't make common sense. So once again, I believe in the absence of common sense, there can be no genuine prosperity. There can be no genuine education. Okay? Our intellect, everything that we have and possess, comes from God. And we are a free country. And this suggests that those who prosper are going to pay more than those who don't prosper as much and they're going to pay less. That's, that's not, that's not liberty. That's not freedom. It sounds like it's a slush fund. So that's my opinion. I'll keep you posted. I'm not going to tell you how to vote on this and I'm sure that you uh, have your own uh, way of deciding how you're going to vote. So get out and vote and I'll keep you posted. We're going to move to question three and I'm going to move right down the ballot and once again if I strike a chord with you or you'd like to send me a comment send it to frankmargell at youtube.com yeah getting all political right out here on the streets and parks of Portland Maine the public domain where freedom resides and I appreciate uh, your shares and all your comments and I want to wish you a main day once again live from Bedford Park here in Portland Maine we're discussing the main ballot question two regarding education take a look at it send me a comment I'd love to hear from you you have a great main day September 19th 2016 about 11 a.m. about 10 past 11 a.m. right here and somewhat humid and drizzling conditions and uh, we could use a little more rain and a little more integrity when it comes to uh, how we manage our elections and our funding in my humble opinion. You have a great main day. This is Frank Margell. Take care. No matter where you are in the free world, I'll keep you posted. Take care. This is Frank out.